I'm a, on your laptop using Jupyter Notebook. Now, why is that useful? Well, you'll be running just on your computer, not sending your data to anybody. You can even run it when you're not connected to the internet because you'll be doing the language model running just on your computer. Further, I'll show you how you can upload documents and analyze the content of documents. You can even save your chats and upload them later. I'm gonna take you through a step-by-step -step guide that works for Macs and for Windows. Today, I'll focus on the Macs with an M1 chip. And next week, I'll make some videos specifically for Windows and Macs without an M1 chip. But I'll still give you the guides if you wanna do the setups, DIY, set up Jupyter, set up Lama CCP, CPP, or you can purchase the Jupyter Notebook that I've made for $9.99. Let's get started. So here we have the install guide for installing Jupyter Lab. I'm gonna take you through these steps. Let me just put it over to the side. And on the left, I have my folder structure where I've created a Jupyter Lama laptop folder and I've put inside the Jupyter Notebook um, that will be available if you click the link in the description. Now let's get started and install Jupyter Lab. To do that, I'm gonna open up a terminal. So I'll press command space on, um, on my Mac, on a Windows, you can click the Windows key and you can search for a terminal or command prompt on Windows. So let's open a terminal. Now I'm going to CD into Jupyter uh, Lama laptop. I can spell that right. Now it'll be a bit small on the left, but I will show you um, on the right hand side, the bigger font. So let's get started here and install Jupyter Lab. Pip install Jupyter Lab. Next thing that's done already is to install a VN, which allows you to set up sandboxes or virtual environments. So I'll do pip install VN. I've actually got that already on my computer, so I won't bother with that. Next, I'm going to create a virtual environment called Llama Env. And once that's created, I'm going to activate it. Here's the command for activating on a Mac. Activating means that now I'm in a sandbox. And what I want to do is I want Jupyter to use that sandbox when I open Jupyter. To do that, I need to install IPY kernel. Install IPY kernel. And now I'll make that environment available, or the sandbox you can think of it as, by running this command here. Python dash M, which means make IPY kernel. So make an IPY kernel and install uh, for the user an environment called Lama Env. Now we're ready to start the Jupyter Lab. Now you can start Jupyter Notebook as well. Jupyter Lab is a bit more sophisticated, so I recommend using Jupyter Lab. Just type Jupyter Lab and it should open up that notebook. Okay. So I will just accept that build. And here you can see about Jupyter Lama for laptop. And you have all the links here for getting set up. Now, uh, the first thing you're gonna do here, just check that uh, Jupyter, that you have the right environment operating here. Uh, I'm gonna click and I'm gonna choose Lama Env. So I select Lama Env and save and reload. So now we're set up and operating in that environment that we have just created. So looks good. Now we'll go to run and select run all cells. First, I'm being asked if I wanna enable internet search. Um, it's possible in beta, but for now, I'll just say no. If I want to enable archive search for academic papers, I'll say no. And now select my operating system. So this notebook set up, it'll automatically install for Mac or Mac with an M1 chip. But if you're taking the DIY approach, you can go over to the install guide here for Lama CCP and uh, you can install using this guide. Uh, there's a guide specifically for Windows that you'll need to follow. Um, I haven't got automated setup for Windows done yet, but hopefully I'll do a video next week. I have a Mac with an M1 chip, so I'll press B. It's now cloning Lama CCP, so it's copying Lama CCP, which is the um, Gherkinov software for running on a laptop. And once that's been cloned, it's going to start to compile. So it's uh, still just cloning, and now it's compiling. 
It's using Metal. Metal allows you to use the GPU on the Mac. So that should be all configured. And the next thing that will happen is uh, we will download the model, the model, the language model itself. And it's a GGML form of that model. You can see we're connecting to Hugging Face and it's downloading that model. You should be able to see it if you go to the left-hand pane here. Uh, so I'm in the Lama CCP folder. And this here is the file. Um, this model here, it's about three gigabytes in size, uh, which you can see here. And it's just gonna take a moment uh, to download. If you are using Windows, now's a good time to mention, and um, this won't be automatic. So what you'll need to do is uh, once the repository has been cloned, which is automatic, you'll then need to follow the instructions here. Um, specifically, you won't need to download the code because that will have been done. I recommend um, maybe using Blast Acceleration for better speed. So you'll need to, uh, maybe with the help of ChatGPT install, download OpenBLAS, copy the files into the appropriate W64 dev kit, and then run make Llama OpenBLAS. Okay, so back here, we're almost finished on the download. And that's now been downloaded. So we have the language model file and the rest of the notebook has been executed. We're installing transformers purely because we need the tokenizer. That's because this program will automatically shorten content. That's too long for the context. And it looks like we have one bug here. Um, so IPY widgets. I need to move this up. So I need to make sure any package that's been used is installed before um, it's used. So what I'll do is just run selected cell and all below. That should fix the error. Now we're being asked for the preference. Do we want high speed or long context length? So I recommend first trying the high speed. Um, it takes less compute if you're using a shorter context length. Um, there's a possibility if you use the longer length that your computer will overload. It depends how much RAM you have. I've eight RAM on a Mac M1 uh, chip, which is the lowest amount of RAM you could have with M1. If you have 16 or 34, I'd probably just go straight for long context. But let's go for short context. Okay, here we have Jupyter Llama for laptop. So we can uh, say greetings Llama and have the Llama respond. Okay, so uh, we can then save the chat. So let's just save it as a quick hello, Llama. That's now saved. It's in the chats file, uh, which is within Lama CCP. Um, let's now let's now upload a file. So I've got this uh, substack, substack report. It's uploading a, sh a short portion because we're using short context length. So we've uploaded this text. Provide a summary of content. All right, not perfect in the formatting here, but uh, it's got some kind of a summary. Also, <clears throat> it's been truncated because I've set the response to be limited to 20% of the context length. Um, if you chose to have a long context length, it could give up to 20% of 4,000, which is uh, 800 characters. So you'd be able to get a much longer summary. Let's just clear the chat there. And then for demonstration, let's, um, let's go back uh, to our folder. So it's called um, Jupyter Llama Laptop. And then in Llama CCP, we have the chat stored. 
let's upload a quick uh, hello llama chat and you see there i've just uh, restarted um nothing much i'll just say building project and that's pretty much the demo folks this is all running on my m1 mac and uh, the install guides which i'll put in the description uh, it is a great tool i'll put in the description if you want to go diy setting up a jupyter notebook by yourself or set up um, llama ccp i uh, hope this is of some help and you have fun cheers <laughs>